point yet or not. Um, so, and, and uh, equally kind of with this is that even if we accept that, okay, there is a natural inclination to um, worship something higher, why does that support Islam in any way? Okay, so first of all, Islam, Islam is a religion, first of all. Yeah. But I'm not even talking about religion at this moment in time. I'm just talking about that from the natural inclination, you know that everything you see, there must be a creator. So for example, you see this building right here, your natural inclination tells you there must be something, there must be someone who has the knowledge and the power to bring this building into existence. You, you, you cannot believe from your natural inclination. Okay, so what about the universe that is far more superior, far more complex than this creation here? Well, the, the so no, are you saying why only specifically Islam that preaches this? That's revelation. That's true revelation. Yes. And it's quite unique only. The natural inclination is only unique within the Islamic oh, put him on, put him on. faith system. Yeah. That tells you you're already ingrained to believe in the Creator. So you've been given the basic tool exactly. to recognize the Creator. Yeah. And your innate disposition will only be fully clear and you will only come to understand the full understanding of the world surrounding you and reality and yes. your purpose when you reconnect your natural inclination with the, with right. the revelation. Okay. Right. So, uh, but you've been given the basic tools to recognize. Right. So it's like the, the best explanation I give is like a PC that I've been programmed with the default uh, program and then once you install the other uh, uh, okay. softwares and so on. Well, the, 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 the one thing I would say, the, the comparison between a building of a super creator and therefore a universe of a super creator, it, the difference is that we have observed buildings being built by humans, right? We haven't observed any universes being built, right? So the the the, the inductive step of of you look at a building you assume a creator, why wouldn't you assume a creator of the universe? The, the difference is that we haven't seen anyone make a universe, so there's no reason to suggest that. Okay, so now we do. We're going to the realms of metaphysical, metaphysical reality, right? So we can only go by our own experience, yeah? So we have limited senses. So from our limited senses, of our intellect we know for sure that this building here even okay even if if i see a, a, a building in the middle of the desert what's your and i've never seen the builder i don't know his name right what would be what would you what would be your natural inclination here what to pop pop into existence from nothing no because nothing cannot be brought into something right so what we say is that the very fact that from our experience we know that everything we see here there must be the creator yeah now you, unless you can logically tell me that all of the materials comes together and able to bring a phone in the middle of the desert, right? But that doesn't fit into your logic. So we have been given the limited senses. So using those limited senses, we must come to conclusion about this universe, the existence of the universe. And the only conclusion you can come to know is there must be the creator. There must be the creator that is nothing like unto his creation. Okay. So, the question we have for you is, what's stopping you to be uh, connected with your natural inclination and what, give, uh, what evidence are you looking for for the existence of life? You did say you're an atheist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose, well, firstly, I, I'm still not convinced that it is a natural inclination. And secondly, um, even if there is a natural inclination, and I work even though the research shows that there is a natural inclination, well, I mean, I'd say the research is tenuous. Sorry? I'd say it's, it's tenuous. I wouldn't say that, 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 that it's proven that, that we have a, a, an inclination to it. Because like I said, with the Amazonian tribes, I would still say that they don't necessarily look to a higher being that created everything, right? Uh, as I just said earlier, it's more focused on ancestry, which is kind of a, um, you know, a, a worshipping kind of uh, dynamic, but it's not the same as, as believing uh, innately that there's a being that somehow created everything. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it's categorical. No, but that's indoctrination. That's it. You've been in, so even in this society, we've been indoctrinated, right? So, for example, in certain society, they will tell you what's good, but in this society, they will tell you it's bad. Yeah. But for example, you go to you go to certain countries in Africa, right? Yeah. They think that getting married at the age of 13 is absolutely fine yeah. because by that age you're mature. In this country, 13 years old is considered to be what paedophilia, right? So, who is right and wrong? So, we've all been indoctrinated to believe that rape is wrong, but someone in another country, they've been indoctrinated to believe no. You, we act by animal instinct, we can rape, right? So, there must, so, what we say is that there must be a blueprint that the Creator must give us and we must use those tools to come to conclusion. So, when, we, when the Bible is saying here to connect back to the Creator, everyone has the inclination to do good, right? You, you, want, to, you want to do good, right? Yeah? But, 
how do you know what you say is good is good? So you need objective guidance. I, 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 would, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. Okay, so where do you get your guidance? Where do you get your moral guidance? Yeah. So, uh, I, mean, I mean, it's purely subjective. But equally, equally, I would say that for me as an atheist, although there is a fault within sort of a subjective morality, I would say that there is an equal fault within objective morality within uh, Islam or, or Christianity because, uh, because although, although, although in theory it's objective because it's based on the word of Allah or whatever else, right? If I don't believe in Allah or, or, or Jesus or anyone else, then to me it's going to be subjective. No, I agree with you. It's, it, it's based on the, on the presupposition that we believe Islam is true. Yeah, that's why it's objective, right? But that's, that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is that we crave good, right? We crave for justice, right? But different people have different understanding of justice. Yeah. Different people have different understanding of good. So who decides what's good and bad? No, that's a thing. Uh, and that's an issue. But do you not think there has to be uh, objective guidance from the creator? I would say that just because there is an issue with the fact that people disagree on what's good and bad doesn't necessitate the uh, existence of God. You know, or existence of a being that, that justifies morality in some way. I would say that there is a problem and, and it makes the world a very bad place because yeah. no one can agree on what's good and bad. Yeah. And in many ways, in fact, Islam might be more practical in, in yeah. that sense. However, I would say that just because uh, I can't say, or any of you can't really sure. say, what, what is definitely good or bad, sure. doesn't necessarily mean that there has to be... No, I'm saying an atheist. It means it's bad to morality. Yeah. But I want to take you back to... Uh, in terms of how you reconcile with the world, what's the... Who created the universe? I don't know why. Well, who? Yeah. Well, who? Yeah, why not? 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 Why if you exist, you don't Wait, wait, let me in copy. I want to hear what you say. That is my belief, and, and that is the belief of Big most like, astrophysicists. But, right? Why what? do you believe in the Big Bang? Pardon? Why do you believe in the Big Bang? Because I believe that you know, people are much more intelligent than I can. can uh, Have you observed? What is, what is scientific method? So well, yeah, uh, observance is, is a tenuous idea. Because you have no, to it's by experimentation so observation. Okay. Why you well, I would say that even though I would side with that, that's not what I believe, right? I don't believe that God doesn't exist. I'm not saying that God doesn't exist. Sorry, I'm saying okay, that fine. the arguments that I've heard for God don't, don't convince me, right? So okay. w w when you say, oh, okay, um, then, 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 what, then, then, then what created yeah. the universe? What created the universe, right? I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. But if, if you argue that Allah created the universe, I'm like, maybe he did. But the fact, the fact is, why is it Allah instead of, uh, you know, uh, Yahweh or Good question, else. good question. Do you know what I mean? I, and that's my problem. So I'm just saying that, that, question, that God doesn't exist. No, 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 I'm yeah. saying like... The reason why you, because you do know belief is the acceptance of science and truth with reasons. With, with or without evidence. So what's your reason? SubhanAllah, yeah. In the Big Bang. Can you touch upon that? Yeah. Well, I suppose um, I think it, it, it's a theory. It's good. No, no, let him answer because he... It's the same, it's the same no, thing. No, but he... We want to have it in the same yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, the scientific uh, analysis of, of, of the Big Bang Theory um, it is generally rooted uh, like if we were to forget all knowledge, yeah. right, um, and you know, come back to life without any knowledge whatsoever, no technology, whatever, and the, the Big Bang Theory would come back, right? I wouldn't necessarily say that the doctrine of Islam was. And I would say that because there is that repeatability and there is that. Um, Sorry, where's the repeatability of the Big Bang? Well, the, the fact that you, you can come up with a theory again and prove it. Okay, do you know the difference between theory and fact? Yes. Okay, so what is theory? Don't get mixed up with hypothesis and theory. I know. That's why I'm asking theory and fact. Yeah, theory is a test. Yeah. Like nuclear fish, uh, fission is tested. Right. If it was the theory of nuclear but, fission works, so but can, can you repeat it? Can you go back in time? Can you? Can you go back in time and there you go. So that's what I'm not saying that we could, we could observe and repeat the Big Bang. I'm saying that the theory of the Big Bang. There's no observable evidence. Yeah, there's no observable evidence for the idea that God created. No, 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 no. What we're saying is you're going by the naturalistic explanation, right? So that's the reason why. What is science? Science is the study of the natural or the physical world, right? By observation and repeatability, right? And experimentation, right? So the Big Bang. 
um, is lacking one aspect. So the reason why you postulate the belief in the big band, you know why? Because I think it's Edwin Hubble, right? Edwin Hubble, he's the astrophysicist, right? Astronomer, right? He observed the sky. He saw there's a red shift, meaning the galaxies are receding from each other, right? So rationally speaking, if the galaxies receded from each other, it must come back to singularity. But you didn't see the singularity, did you? So you're going by assumption. So even in science, you do have to use some sort of rationality. That's what we're telling you, that why don't you use the, 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 the tool of rationality to come to conclusion whether there's the creator or not? We're talking about a, a possibility of a metaphysical existence. So for you to use science to come to conclusion whether the creator is not, is like an equivalent of saying, well, I want to measure your height using the weight scale. You're using the wrong tool. Science is going what it knows. It's continually checking and rechecking itself. And, okay. You know, trying to find the answer rather than just saying, God No problem. So try looking. No problem. But science is transitory. In a few years, it might be different. Exactly. I agree with you. It doesn't, it doesn't really it doesn't say there is no God. It just doesn't bring God. No, no, no. What I'm saying is you're using the wrong tool to come to conclusion. Where is the, whether there's the creators. Yeah, but you said rationality. Just to add on. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm saying. And you need to do it. Yeah, you need someone to pause it. Someone. Not necessarily, brother. Not necessarily. Not, uh, 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 not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's intuitive that yeah. any action is a cause. Like, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. No, you need a conscious being to pause it. Uh, and, that, and that is the intuition. Uh, but that's what, we, but that's what we've observed. Intuition, there you go. There you go. Right? So we've observed that, okay, the camera, okay, that that's, that's what the creatures have been designed. The lamppost that was pushed shoot on, you get yeah. out of yeah. it. Even grass. Yeah. It's all hard. Yeah, but then what, why, why, do you, why do you need to? I agree with you. Yeah. But when it comes to the concept of the universe, yeah. when it comes to the universe, why do you then you draw your rationality out of it? Exactly, out of the window. Correct, correct. Absolutely. Because when it comes to the phone or, the, or, 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 or anything you have, yeah. you attribute it to a creator, uh, but then who's more complex? Because the exactly. universe is a lot more complex. The difference, the difference is, is, is that we have observed other things being created, that's why we know they have been created. Right. And, and, and that's why also we assume, like, okay, I can see that building over there Correct. being built. Yeah. But I, I assume it's being built. Well, that's why, why do you assume that? Because I've seen but other the buildings. Building show, show Wait, that, 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 no, no, that, that, no, 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 it's the same point. Is the building show design? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what about the universe? Is it show design? Uh, no show design? Uh, why, why not? Staying back on point, staying back on point, truly. I would say that I've seen other buildings being built, and that is why it's rational to assume that that's being built. I haven't seen another universe being built. Do you know what I mean? Okay, but is it okay? Okay, so, 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 so can I ask you this question, right? Is imperialism necessary to come to conclusion whether it's true or not? So if I see if I see a product of design, right? I don't need to see the designer. I know it's been designed. That's my natural inclination. So this is what I'm saying to you that if you think science is the only avenue to knowledge, but even in science you have to use rationality. So another avenue of knowledge that you should consider is rationality. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying it's, it, it's not necessarily rational to assume that they're like, like, but my, my, I mean, did you, did, did you give me a scientific explanation for this camera here? My, you didn't. My, my belief is that uh, it's not that necessarily that the universe goes itself. It's not necessarily that we're thinking of it. It's that we don't know. We didn't observe God creating the universe. I didn't observe the universe creating itself. We don't know. There is no... We're yeah. talking about rationality. There's no rational reason. Yeah, but yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. I need, I need the entering everything that creates everything. Exactly. I need to observe them. No, 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 I said at the beginning of it, even though I would speculate that, that I would side with the Big Bang, my actual belief is that I don't know, but there is no reason to... But you said you're an atheist, now you're shifting yeah. goalposts to agnosticism. No, 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 no. Okay, so there are two different interpretations of atheism. It's either God doesn't exist, or atheism, which I believe in, is that you reject the arguments for God. Okay, so what, so what, so um, what kind of concept of God do you disagree with? Well, any, 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 any argument for God or a creator. So, any argument for any specific religious God, I don't agree with. Uh, any, any arguments of like, okay, maybe there's a, pro, there's a prime mover or maybe there's um, some form of entity that's not the universe. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. I'm just saying okay. that what do we do with that information? It doesn't just like sure. Islam, it doesn't just like Christianity. Sure. Any so okay. even, even if even if we accept the premise that okay, we're assuming that, that somebody created it, why does that mean that they should go? And secondly, we don't need to assume that somebody created it. We don't. No, no. Okay. Sorry. What's your name again? Sorry. Billy. Billy. My name's Ryan. Right. So. 
we, I'm also an atheist to a certain extent, and I'll tell you why. Because I reject certain gods. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I reject the concept of Trinity. I don't believe that God can come down, right? One less than me, I guess. Oh, wait, hang on. But then, do you know what's the definition of Allah? Do you know the concept of God in Islam? Because in order for you to reject, you have to know first before you can reject something, right? Okay, so what, what have you heard about Allah in Islam? Like, what, what have you heard about the concept of God in Islam? Well, I, I would say that, uh, I suppose the idea for me is that... Be honest, be honest. Yeah, well, there, there, there is no reason to suggest why why it would be a lot like if we have if we agree if we agree that none of us have observed the big bang or the star or the star we ask a clear simple question do you know the concept of god and so on either you know it and you can tell us yeah you don't know and we will explain to you yeah yeah what well, I, I suppose i i think i think have a basic understanding that the, the, the quran is the word of allah the word of god and no, i'm not doing revelation i'm just talking about the no yeah sure I mean go on okay so ba so basically right we we have a uh, a chapter in the Quran which is called Surah Ikhlas right so the Quran we believe to be the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So we believe that these are the words from the Creator. So the Creator himself, he revealed a, 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 a short chapter called Surah Ikhlas, which speaks about the, the essence of monotheism, what he is, he describes about himself. So it goes like this, I'll, 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 uh, I'll recite in Arabic and I'll translate for you. Yeah? So he says, uh, Say he is Allah, the one and only, right? Not, not three in one, not five in one, right? Okay, so one and only, indivisible, cannot be, you know, cannot be into parts, right? It's one and only. Allah, Allah the self-sufficient, the independent, meaning that everything else is dependent upon Him, but He doesn't depend upon anything else. Yeah, He's self-existent. Lam yalid wa lam yulad, He begets not, nor is He begotten. So this, this verse here states that He begets not, nor is He begotten, meaning He does not have a lineage. Allah does not have a lineage. He doesn't have, He's got no parents, He's got no children, right? Because if he has parents and children, that means he has a beginning. If he has parents, that means his parents are superior to him. How can something be superior to God, right? So Allah does not have a lineage. He doesn't have children. He doesn't have wife, right? There is nothing like unto him. So basically, this is a summary of, of the definition of Allah. That Allah is the only one and independent, self-sufficient entity that always existed in eternity. And this particular entity cannot be compared to anything else in existence. So based upon that definition, do you have any problems with that? Yes. Why? Uh, it, it's circular, right? It, it, it's, it's, it's using yeah. the, the premise just by the conclusion. Yeah. Right? It's saying, okay, well, Allah is like this because supposedly yeah, Allah says it. Does, but, but no, I'm just saying from your understanding, oh, okay. does that rationally make sense to you? Well, no, still, what, what do we mean make sense? But so, I, if, I so if, so if, so if, yeah, so, so if hypothetically there is the creator, yeah. right? Everything depends on that everything depends upon, right? If there is this deity that we're talking about, yeah, okay. would that rationally make, would it make sense to you? No. Why not? Because even if I assume that I agreed that there was a, a creator, okay. and um, honestly, we know that everything is in the universe is contingent, it's contingent. On something else. Yes. It on something else. Exactly. So therefore, at one point, we have to have an independent, independent. Thing that all dependent things depend upon. Exactly. I, I, so, so everything you see in the universe depends on something. So at one point, you have to have an independent being to that everything depends upon. So, and this is rational and logical. So, in free science, we know. Well, right? again, so, I, I, st I uh, still, as I said earlier, I still don't necessarily. Agree. And Allah is the only being yeah, so, that uh, has this concept yeah. within the yeah. religious. Exactly. Uh, Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, it is according to according to religion, like, attributes. No, Islam is the only one. Because no, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, all other religions. I agree with you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree with all other religions. Even though you will find the being that they believe in it is not dependent on the religion. I'd say that a part of our independence, I would say, is absolutely. It depends upon, or he has some sort of weaknesses and so on. And you cannot actually be Assalamu alaikum, how are you doing man? Alhamdulillah, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, Assalamu alaikum.
Johnny, if you want, he's the atheist. Nah, I know that's not your cup of tea. <laughs> We seem to disagree on whether it's logical to assume a, a some form of creator. Now, I don't think it is, and you think it is. And I think we're going to circle a little bit. But, 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 a lot of our disagreement is whether or not it's reasonable to even assume it a some like some form of creator. Okay. I don't think it is. But however, no let's yeah. just go with there is. There is yeah. some form of creator. There is some some being. Yeah. I still don't think that saying that, that, uh, that uh, there is only one Allah in, in the Quran necessarily justifies that he is therefore the only God. Because who is that according to, right? Theoretically, Allah, right? Like, as getting, so Allah says he's the only God according just to Just imagine this. Look, Allah is a name. Yeah. But I'm just talking about the concept. Yes. Right? Yeah. So this concept, like I told you, whoever created this universe must be unique in every sense. Must be unique in every sense. Because the moment this creator possesses any qualities or attributes to the creation, then he can no longer, no longer be God. Is that for example, I know it's a very silly example. If, if you want to create this camera here, you cannot create the camera if you have the same material, if you come from the same materials, right? So there must be an external agent that has the will and the power to bring this camera into existence, right? So what I'm saying is, well, you could, you could say what, right? So does it make sense to you? So a human being is able to create a camera, but can the camera create itself? No, you cannot, you cannot exist and not exist at the same time. Like I said before, the only reason why we can say that, um, that, that a camera can't create itself is okay. because we have observed cameras not create. Have you observed consciousness? Yeah. In, the, 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 no. in the universe, the universe no, no, but, 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 no, but equally, either the, 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 no, the, the, my the universe is, is self -conscious. My argument is, I, none of us have observed a universe being created or not. Yeah. So, right? we, no one has observed a camera creating itself, and people have observed cameras. No, but have you observed consciousness? No. So why do you believe in it? I don't believe in consciousness. You don't believe in consciousness? No. So. Do you believe in gravity? Yes. Yeah. Using gravity. What color is gravity? Yeah. No. Just because something doesn't have a color. Yeah, for... No. So just because something doesn't have a color and it's not tangible doesn't mean it's not real. So do you believe in gravity? Yes. But but you have you seen gravity? What color? What so why do you believe in it? No. But my, what I just said is that just because so you see your light, you defeat yourself. No, no, you're no, no, no. Because just because something doesn't have a color and it's not tangible doesn't mean it's not real. How do you prove gravity? Prove gravity? Because you can't prove gravity through the empirical uh, uh, evidence. Exactly. You exactly. prove it by the effect. Yeah. And so what about the what about this universe, which is the signs of the creator? I don't think it's the signs of the creator. Hang on. So, so if it, so it's gravity. So does the gravity. If you reject gravity, you should also you should be consistent. Yeah. Within your argument, well, you're not consistent. I'm sorry to say that, say but you believe in gravity. No, you can observe the effects of gravity, you can't observe the effects of God. You can assume that they're the effects of God. Uh, wait, 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 that doesn't even make sense. Does it, that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. They know. They, we, 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 uh, he's joking. Yeah, yeah, we've so spoken to them many times. Yeah. We run them off the park. No, I don't know. No, seriously. I just wanted to give you, give you some uh, advice. When the faith is dry, uh, the world will never make sense to you. And when you combine both, <laughs> Uh, of you, the of you. <coughs> we, we believe in science. Uh, shortcomings such as yeah. your conscious yeah. being and so on. You could not create science to find out who uh, is So, read these scriptures, give it a like, up. the conclusion of, of you've been hardly ingrained to believe in the truth, you've been indoctrinated in the Western world, and partially it's because to do with Christianity and liberalism and so on. Exactly. To say there's no creator and so on, but your inner belief is there is. Okay. Well, well, one final point I'll, sure. I'll say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to make it too long. Yeah, yeah. So I want to respect your time, that's why. Yeah, yeah, I want to respect your time, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say that although the world may never make sense to me, I agree. I think uh, in many ways Islam may even be more practical. Um, but for me... That's what we're calling you towards. For, for, for me, um, 
if I don't instinctively believe in it, then uh, yeah, an answer that I don't believe in just because it's practical wouldn't make more sense to me. I, I still don't believe. Um, That's fine. But, but, but I'm saying to you, when you read it, yeah. give it a go first, read it, yeah. find out what it is, yeah. then, because as, as, we, as my brother said, your belief is, 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 is you only don't come up with belief out of thin air. You have reasons to believe something. So at this moment in time, you have a lot of reasons to say I don't believe in Islam without even looking at it. <laughs> you see? So take the Quran and, and read it and then come back to so further questions. Sure. You say your belief doesn't make any sense to me and these are my reasons yeah. why it doesn't sure. make sense. Yeah. At this moment in time, you're just saying it doesn't make sense. We'll let you go, we we'll let you go. So, give it a go, yeah? yeah. Do you want yeah. to have a copy of the Quran? Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. speech to you, man. Yeah. Okay, okay. If we offend you, we apologize. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Take it. So, Malik Salam, hey, you good? Oh, Alhamdulillah. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, bro. Hmm? Is there one more? See, 